Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys have somewhat of an idea of what may be in this box. Hey guys, welcome back, Smith RC Studios, back at it again, another video, happy Sunday. Today we have an epic unboxing, as you can see here, this huge box, so I purposely did not say in the title what's in that box, I wanted you guys to watch the video and find out as you watch the video. So, um, a little backstory, I did have to sell a crap load of my RCs, a lot of stuff in this studio in order to make this here happen. <laughs> Okay, now um, what's in this box is something I've been wanting for quite some time. I just never pulled the trigger. So I'm excited. This will definitely be the last RC in 2023. It has to be. There's no way I can get anything else in this this year. We're already about almost halfway in 2023. So we're just going to have to settle with, <laughs> with this that, and then that new MCD back there um, and everything else I have in the studio. So, um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up. But before that, um, I just have to be honest and transparent and say that I did do a quick pre-unboxing um, because of the fact that uh, it came like this from UPS. It was wet, it's a little dry now, but it was wet. I just wanted to make sure nothing fell out. So everything's in there. So let's go ahead and just rip the box open so you guys can see what's in there. Let's go crack it open right now. As I mentioned, I already cut that tape open. So I just kind of did this for the camera. So I, just, I can just pop it open like that. Other side. Just pop this open. Okay, by the way, it came here from Canada. So that may give you an idea. Okay, all the way from Canada. Um, Maher, who uh, had sent me that MCD right there, now sends me this. Alrighty, so let's go ahead. I'll talk about what's in here. There you go. You got all the stickers, extra parts, extra parts, or not extra, but just the parts for the car. And there you go, guys. There you go. This is your XS5. Okay, first of all, it's by MCD. All right, ever since I, um, ever since I got this months, a couple months back, which I ran at the track just last week. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it below. We went to the track. We had a little session. Really cool. This thing handles nice. Well, anyway, ever since I got this MCD, I figured these things are just a different kind of an RC. So I'm sorry. I just had to jump on another one. <laughs> so that's why... We have this. Now this is a different kind, as you can see, of an RC. It's an on-road. Okay, let me take it out of the box so you guys can see it. I can talk about I'll talk about it once once I take it out of the the, uh, the box here. So let's let's take it out of the box. There you go. There it is. The MCD XS5 ultimate all right so i've always wanted an on-road car so this is it this is the top of the line there's three versions of this car that you can get um i got the top tier which is uh, called the ultimate so basically it comes with all the upgraded parts now this one's a little bit special because i had uh, my hair actually do extra things to it so it's not just the xs5 ultimate it's the xs5 ultimate 0.5 or, or 0.2 uh, basically, I um, let's open it up. I'll let you guys know. But um, yeah, these cars are phenomenal. I've always wanted a supercar, so this is it. Um, I think it's going to be sort of my 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 wife's tribute to my wife. Um, so we were just talking earlier uh, on paint on the body, what we want. It looks sort of like a I guess I guess you can say a McLaren slash Zonda. Uh, you know, I, I guess it looks kind of like that. And uh, so we're going to kind of give it that sort of vibe. And uh, it's going to be painted uh, her color. So it's going to be maybe um, lavender with carbon fiber down the middle, something like that. Or, you know, black or whatever. So that's the idea with this. And uh, let's go ahead and pop it open. Get this off. I'll explain what's going on in here. And uh, yeah, you can tell it's very well made. The um, 
everything is upgraded everything's uh, 70 75 alloy um, aluminum so it's just nice even everything it's just beautiful kind of like the uh, the off-road I have and uh, so here um, before this car was sent to me not only I paid top dollars for to make this car on-road car the top one the ultimate version but I also wanted it to be a two-speed okay because it's sort of it's gonna be sort of like a on road, I wanted to be fast, right? So this is probably gonna be the fastest uh, car that I own, fifth scale car that I own. And so my hair did a good job. Um, before he said it to me, he was able to install the two speed transmission in there for me. So that's gonna be super fun. The other thing I paid for extra on top of the fact that it's already an expensive car is the, they call it the Hydrax brake system so um typically your fifth scale cars will break here in the center they have uh, to uh disc brake in the in the middle on the, on the drive train here um but no I, I i want it to be this i want i wanted this car to be as realistic to a real car as possible so i basically said you know what if this is going to be the last car in 2023 why not go all out so we have the brakes in there man that's that's so cool it's like a real car you can see the the disc, you see the rotors are in there. It's just beautiful. So a buddy of mine, I'm not gonna show the address there. A buddy of mine also sent me this. I won't unbox it right now, but these are a whole bunch of servos. I'm gonna need more ser servos than, than a regular fifth scale because this here is for my brakes in the back. So I need a servo to pull this. If you can see there, you pull that. That's my brakes in the back. And then similarly, I got one up here in the front and again you pull that and that's the brake I can actually hear it already you pull that and that engages the brakes on the front front wheels so that's gonna be super fun so I need a servo for this I need a servo for this obviously I need a servo for the throttle and I need a servo here in the front for my steering so I think four I'm gonna do four servos and my buddy uh, Robert over at blue uh, Groove Model Sports, which you guys seen him and met him on my last video when we were at the event, was nice enough to send me all these servos. I think there's four in here. Um, there's four in here, and uh, he just loaned me these servos, so I'm not going to keep them, which is fine because I'm going to get my own servos eventually. But he was nice enough to just loan me these, so at least I can get this car running. So anyway, thanks, Robert. Appreciate it. Shout out to you, buddy. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go through it. Uh, I'm going to um, turn off the camera and stare at it for, for, for a little bit and appreciate this work of art. Um, again, this is, you're not going to see any new RCs in this studio for a while. I mean, I, I, I have this guy to learn, and also it's just, it's just uh, the ultimate. It's just the top of the top. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love my Low C5T off-road. It has always been my favorite RC and always will be. Uh, but this is a different kind of an RC, which I think uh, it's now my favorite as far as just quality and caliber and, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, guys, stay tuned because I will do a lot of videos on this, uh, installing the engine, the paint job, driving it, of course, um, learning it, doing the Hydrax brake, which I've never used Hydrax brakes. Um, I know Crucial RC. Um, has lots of great videos on he's got multiple MCDs, so um, I'll be watching a lot of his videos um, Just basically learning this guy. So I'm very excited. So I'm happy to bring you guys along uh, to this uh, super cool um, Adventure for the MCD XS5 ultimate with the Hydrax and the two-speed so <laughs> So yeah, anyway guys, um, stay tuned. Um, and we had, an event, we had an event last week where I took the other MCD on the track and uh, it was a blast. Um, and again, Robert was there. He made tacos for every, everyone. It was super cool. We had such a good time. We made, I made new friends. And uh, that video, if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it below. Make, be sure to click on that video um, if you guys are interested to watch that video. But, uh, but also stay tuned to Smith RC Studios. We will be doing a lot of videos on this on-road car. And hopefully uh, this year we can make it up to uh, Dallas. There's an on-road track there. Uh, and uh, who knows what else is in, in store for us. We're, so I'm, I'm planning things um, for the future. So uh, definitely this is going to be involved a lot. So anyway, thanks for tuning in Smith RC Studios. Uh, happy Sunday and uh, cheers.